In this video, we will cover how to take a search strategy created in Ovid Medline and translate it into Embase through the Elsevier platform. This video assumes you have already developed a comprehensive search strategy in Medline, so if you need help getting your search started, you can contact a librarian at kellogg at dal.ca. When translating your search, it's important to have a table with all of your databases included so you can record your translated terms in one place. So be sure to set that up in advance. Once you have created your table, you can begin working on translating your search, and each time you translate a term from your search, be sure to include it in the table. For the purpose of this video, our research question is, in patients with osteoarthritis, is yoga an effective treatment for reducing pain? Our main concepts are osteoarthritis, yoga, and pain. Here we have a comprehensive search strategy in Medline format which includes a combination of keywords that are searched in the title, abstract, or author-supplied keywords of the database's records, as noted by the .ti, .ab, .kf after the term, and subject headings, as noted by the exp before a term if it has been exploded, then a slash, or just a slash after the term if it has not been exploded. In line 3, there is a keyword phrase. In Medline, you do not need to put keyword phrases in quotations, but in other databases, it's a good idea to put keyword phrases in quotes so you can be sure the database will interpret it correctly. While the search strategy is shown here, you can also find the detailed search strategy in the script found in the description below. We want our search in Embase to resemble this same format as much as possible except we want it to have the correct search commands so Embase will run the search properly. Let's go to Embase on the Elsevier platform using our Dalhousie Libraries access, which you can find a link to in the description below or by searching on the Databases tab of the library's search bar. From here, let's start with line one of our Medline search and find our first subject heading. In Embase, subject headings are called mTree terms, and we can find them in the top right corner of the home screen. Click mTree, then in the search box type in osteoarthritis and click search, or choose the correct option from the drop-down menu like I have done here. Double check the mTree record to make sure the term's definition is correct, which you can often find at the bottom of the screen. Also, remember that we exploded this term in Medline, so we need to double check that the terms appearing below this one are correct and that we still want to explode it, as Embase will automatically check the explode box by default. Once we have looked everything over in the record and are comfortable using this term, we can click Add to Query Builder, then Search, and copy this term to add it to the translation table. Moving on to the first keyword for this concept, we will clear the search box on the results screen and type in osteoarthritis. Worth noting is you could also start your keyword search in the advanced search box, which can be helpful for its list of fields and other features, but for this example we will stick with the search box on the results page. We will not select anything from the drop-down list of suggested terms, as we are searching a keyword with specific field commands for the title, abstract, and author-supplied keywords. To achieve this similar search in Embase, we will search osteoarthritis colon ti comma ab comma kw, with the kw taking the place of Medline's kf search command and searching across keyword fields. Then we click search and once again record this term in the translation table. We will want to repeat this again with the phrase search for degenerative arthritis, this time putting it into single quotes so the phrase stays together in Embase, but also using the new search commands. So now we will enter single quotation, degenerative arthritis, single quotation, colon ti, comma ab, comma kw, then click search and add it to the translation table. From here, we will click the checkboxes beside lines 1, 2, and 3, then click the OR button, then combine. We have now translated the first four lines of the Medline search into Embase. Returning to our search, let's repeat the process with the subject heading for yoga. We will clear the search box on the results screen, then click mTree, then search yoga in the search box, and choose the suggestion from the list of relevant options. 
We see here that Embase offers the option to explode our term to include different styles of yoga. If we search this term as explode, we will pull these terms into our search. But you may be wondering if we should do this when we didn't explode the term in Medline. Medline didn't give the option to include narrower terms for yoga, but Embase is, and these terms are all highly relevant to the topic. Therefore, we should go ahead and translate this term to explode in Embase by keeping the explode button checked, but whether or not you do this depends on your own topic. From here, let's click add to query builder, then search and copy it into the translation table. Then we will once again clear the search box, then add a keyword for yoga. And we should not select anything from the suggested terms as we will be translating the Medline field commands for the title, abstract, and author supplied keywords into M-based readable format, which will be yoga colon ti comma ab comma kw. Then we click search and from here click the check boxes beside lines 5 and 6 on the results screen, then click or, then combine. We have now translated the first seven lines of the Medline search into Embase. Here we see that I have jumped ahead and repeated the same process for our pain concept. In line eight, pain is an exploded M tree term because it made sense to keep it exploded after reviewing the M tree record and its included definition. Pain is also shown as a keyword with the title, abstract and keyword commands, and we have kept the small asterisks on the end of the word, as Embase can also interpret these commands that account for differences in word endings. In line 10, the M tree term and keyword for pain have been combined using OR. Now we can click the checkboxes beside lines 4, 7, and 10, then click AND, then combine. We have successfully translated the search from Medline into Embase, and now it's a good idea to double check the translation table to make sure all of the terms are included. If you would like more information on using Embase, feel free to check out the video in the description below, along with our other videos on translating searches to CINAHL and the Cochrane Library. You can also contact us for assistance with your literature searching by email at kellogg at dal.ca. Finally, Dalhousie Libraries has a helpful subject guide where you will find lots of information and tools to help you with your knowledge synthesis projects, including how to properly document your search results, manage your references, and resources for other steps of the review process. You can find a link to this guide in the description below. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.